Okay, well binomial theorem using mathematical induction is one of the harder ones. So I want you to watch this video more than once and try to digest the whole concept clearly as possible and practice. Okay, first step will be um, prove true for n equals 1. So I'm going to go left hand side, that's my left, that's my right. x plus a, 1. Whoops, I'm just going to write a plus x, it's the same as a, x plus a. Right hand side, now this is the um, sigma um, notation with all whole thing. So I have to put that n equals 1. So it's going from 0 to 1. So you need to write a two terms when it was 0, when it was 1. So let's see. Hmm. 1, 1, 0, or 1 minus 0, 0. So that was when r equals 0. Now when r equals 1 up here. Okay, so I've got that um, sequence there. So what happens here? That will be uh, that. So that just goes A, isn't it? Because that's 1, that's 1, A, and that's 1, that's X, and 1. So we get X plus A, which is left-hand side equals right-hand side. And therefore, we have 1 is true so just go through this again and see if you it makes sense to you all right step two assume true for n equals k so i'm just gonna put everything in the k term x plus a to the power of k k 0, k, 0, x, k minus r, k to the power of r. Okay, that's not too bad. And 3, prove true for n equals k plus 1. So I'll just write it in terms of k plus 1. Equals a plus one, a plus one C four, one minus one. Oh. Okay. Now this is the hard part. So I need a little space here. I'm gonna go. Still gonna do left hand side, but this time I'm gonna do left hand side and the right hand side, and then just comparing. So I'm going to go left hand side here, k plus 1, which I could just simply write, okay, that's not too bad so far, and I'm just going to expand this one, so I'm going to go that times and that times, so I'm going to go Now, as you can see from the assume part, that can be written as that. So we can replace that with this. Okay. So I'm going to go 0, plus A, same. Now, I'm going to move this one to here, okay? So, make it neat. R, C, R. But this time, because there's one more power, so it'll be plus one, yeah? X should be the 
same, but this time uh, plus one because A went to there. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, so and then I'm going to do the series of that. So I'm going to go from zero, zero, K minus zero plus one, A to the power of zero plus this time, K one. So this is the when R was zero plus I'm going to go when it was one. When you do this, please be very, very careful what you're doing and watch and concentrate. No listening to music here. Okay. And then when it's a two. We will tie it up a little bit later. Just want to do the pattern first. And then dot dot dot. And I'm going to the last term which is K. So don't try to do it in your head, just write it all out and then tie this one up a bit. So, so I'm going to do this one here. So I'll tie it up a bit because A to the power of 0 is 1. And then the next one, tidying up a little. Running out of space, just not writing it up here. Oops, keep going. I'm not saying too much here because I need to concentrate, guys. So I'm gonna go. The last term. Because it's gone, because it's a part of zero is one. Okay, so I'm gonna use highlighter and just show you what I'm going to do. So if you see this and the same, so I can put this together because I've got the same uh, x to the power k and a, and same as this. So I can put these two together. Okay, so let's do that. The first term stays the same. And then I'm going to put them in a bracket. The other one, I'm putting it. You will see the pattern here, isn't it? Yeah. So even we haven't done it, let's see if we can do the pattern. Two plus k c three, and here x to k minus two, a to the power of three. So you can see the pattern happening. And the last one, last bits. I'm gonna see or oh, last second last one. So it's always one term behind, isn't it? K minus one plus, and then x to the power of k minus. It's always take away the little term, isn't it? That, and then k is the big term. Okay, and plus the last one stays the same by itself. Okay, so we've got that, and let's see if I can tidy up a bit further. So 
the first term here and the last one okay now you know that's going to be one that's one so we'll see how we go with that now before i go further i need to show you something what we're going to do here it's called pascal's triangle identity okay so do you know pascal's triangle it's like this and right here one two one one three three one basically these are coefficients okay and this one is binomial sorry it'll be a plus b the power of zero okay which is one this is a plus b the power of one which is just co coefficient of that is a one a plus one b this one is a plus b squared now do you remember squares um perfect square equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so the coefficient of that is 1 2 1 isn't it now of course this is a plus b to the power of 3 now and so on these i want to change that to uh, in terms of uh, combinations okay so here it would be 0 c 0 that would be just 1. And here, uh, 1c0 and 1c1. These are all coefficients, okay? If you put that in your calculator, you'll get 1. And this one, 2c0, that's the first one. And second one, 2c1, 2c2, okay? So these are the coefficients. And this one will be? Now, we start with a power, okay? So that was 0 power, 1, 2. Third one will be 3C0, 3C1, 3C2, 3C3. Now, what happens here, if you think about it, now, the Pascal's triangle is, you just add the two previous uh, coefficients, and you will get the next one. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then 2 plus 3 and 1 is 3. Now all the first one, the last one is 1. Okay. So this is what Pascal's triangle does. Now, in here and here, when we add this together, we'll get this. Right? 1 plus 2 is 3. So this coefficient, 2c0, 2c1 equals 3c1. So I can say 2c0 plus 2c1 equals 3c1. And we can make a formula out of this. I can do ncr plus ncr plus 1 equals m plus 1 cr plus 1. Do you see what I've done here? So 2 is n. That's a one term behind and then the bigger term. This is what we call Pascal's triangle identity and that's what we're going to use. All right, guys, um, I made a, a mistake on the, um, the proof. So I'm going to start the, um, from step three to all the way down. So I'm going to slowly moving this up, my correction. So here we go. I think most of it is a, a correctly done, but there's a too many K's happening and R's and, you know, C and X and A got confused. Now, up to here, that's all good. And I'll be using the uh, Pascal's triangle identity. And I'm going to change the whole thing into that, which I have changed it here, right? But I'll come to here, I'll change that to this. Now, to keep the pattern going, we can rewrite this with a k plus 1 term. Okay? So that kck is same as with a k plus 1, ck plus 1. 
they're both going to be one anyway. So to keep that, keep our pattern going, I've just changed that to K plus one, CK plus one from here to here, basically think like that. And then of course, right hand side is very, very basic sort of, you know, straightforward. That's what I mean, not basic, straightforward. And then uh, we proved that um, right hand side equals left hand side and everything is the same. So watch this a couple more times and understand fully. Okay, thanks.